Alex G. You Gotta Love Him. He's one of the most compelling singer-songwriters of the past 10 years. He's got eight beautiful, nuanced albums under his belt. He's collaborated with the likes of 10 Tricks Point Never and Frank Ocean. He even played the fucking guitar part in Self Control. And he's done all of this while remaining an authentic DIY musician. I mean, he still makes his music on GarageBand, for Christ's sake. You couldn't ask for a more pure indie darling. Or could you? You see, Alex G has a history. A dark history that runs long and deep. A hip- It all began in the September of 2019. The race for the 2020 Democratic Party nominee was beginning to get heated, and the long list of Dems eager to take down Trump was getting kind of messy. During this time, former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke was offering himself as a potential middle ground between the establishment moderates and the ambitious progressives. Though he appeared to be a significant candidate initially, he had to battle his reputation as a former collegiate troublemaker. Apparently he had some embarrassing legal issues during his wild years. One of the more outrageous pieces of right-wing propaganda aiming to exacerbate this reputation was this picture of a young Beto so brazenly flaunting his pissed pants. Robert Francis O'Rourke in college, drunk and pissing his pants. He wants to be your president in 2020. Now while this may have fooled the apprehensive wine moms this post was clearly targeted at, I mean, it's on Facebook, the indie kids knew something was up. This couldn't be Beto O'Rourke, not that they cared about him anyways. This was someone far cooler. It was someone, some, could it be? It was good old Alex G, being the confident and courageous white man he was always made to be. And thus, we got one of the funniest headlines of the past 10 years. Now one would expect Alex's connection to pants pissing to start and end here, excluding the first five years of his life. I mean, apparently it wasn't even piss, it was beer. But no, 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 no. Real fans know about this 2014 Facebook post, eloquently captioned, Tonight in Providence, Rhode Island, our fearless leader pissed his fucking pants. This is the patrician's Alex G. pants pissing photo. It was even judiciously chosen as the header picture for the Harvey Music Video's announcement in The Delhi Magazine. Journalism at its finest. Alex also has various references to piss in his music. Wicked Boy off Rules features the iconic lyric, The piss comes through your jeans to the outside. According to the Alex G. Discord, this song's about someone Alex went to grade school with. I guess you never live your past mistakes down, huh? Meanwhile, his favorite dog, Rosie, takes her piss on the neighbor's lawn, an animal soft trick. It's like he was warning us all along. I mean, his first album on streaming platforms is ambiguously titled Dick Suck University. His connections to piss get even deeper from here, though. In 2012, he recorded versions of Message, Gnaw, and Remember for a compilation titled Piss Couch Sessions, Volume 1. This mysterious comp was released on Bandcamp under the now-defunct record label Maggot House, also including songs from Girl Scouts, The Hundred Acre Woods, Little Pirouettes, and Roof Doctor, none of whom I am indie enough to listen to. This is an Alex's only rodeo on a piss couch, though. A separate performance, from a seemingly entirely different piss couch, was captured in this 2014 YouTube video by user Yo Mumbler. Here, Alex and bandmate Sam Akione are seen recording renditions of Harvey and Remember on an apparently dead mouse filled piss couch. Coincidentally, it was Sam who divulged this loosely piss related info in a 2016 interview. In uh, Rochester, New York, right? Yeah. When Alex was shoving pickles in his pants. <laughs> Like shoved crazy. the pickle in after every song, like right into his underwear. My shit smells so. My underwear smells so. <laughs> the Yo Mumbler video is a fairly obscure piece of Alex G. Piss lore with only 5,000 views. Alex's band camp is linked in the description, along with the band Rasputin's Secret Police. This now defunct group consisted of two members, Brandon Ayers and Josh Phillips, who are presumably the owners of the Piss Couch. Brandon Ayers, who performs under the name Brandon Can't Dance, is apparently a significant influence on Alex G. Maybe Alex's connections to the piss couch run deeper than we know, but as of now, this is as deep as it gets. So what can we learn from all this? Your idols are fallible? Everybody's human? Meh. I think I'm still going to be hailing Alex G as a musical genius after all this. Maybe the only real takeaway here is that Alex is just... 
a really weird dude. <laughs>